90 Day Fiance is one of the most favorite shows. There are many interesting facts and scandals spread across the web. Fans have always been interested in every aspect of the show. And today, we're going to reveal some of the interesting facts about the show. Here are the top 10 crazy things you didn't know about 90 Day Fiance. But before we get started, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. Number 10. Larry Makes Weird YouTube Videos Larry made a guest appearance on the first season of 90 Day Fiance. His affair with Jenny was an emotional roller coaster, but that's only the beginning. During his time on the show, he mentioned that he was an aspiring filmmaker who had created several videos for his YouTube channel. But believe it or not, those videos are quite bizarre. Those videos have no clues, cringe acting, no plot, and are dull to watch. You can, however, watch them if you wish to laugh. Number 9. Producer Makes Girls Seating Posture Weirdly This is a strange one, but it is true. Some fans observed that some of the women on the show were seated in awkward positions during their interviews. Surprisingly, these seating postures were not chosen at random. The producers made them sit in that position. Anfisa Arkhipchenko confessed in a fan reaction that she has to sit on the show with her legs elevated. It wasn't her fault either. The show's producer made all the females sit like that. Number 8. Luis Mendez Married for the Second Time one of the strangest things in 90 Day Fiancé was watching Lewis creepily chat with guys about Molly's daughter. But nothing compares to what he did to her after they married. In May of 2018, they officially divorced. Although marriage does not guarantee a lifetime of happiness, the fact that Louis remarried just after five months of his divorce, he didn't appear to love Molly. Perhaps he was using her to obtain a K-1 visa. Number 7. Chris Thannerman and Nikki Cooper admitted to staging some of their scenes. Season 5 star David Toporowski's BFF Chris Thannerman and his wife Nikki Cooper appeared frequently on the show, and they alleged in a YouTube video that some of their parts were largely planned. And according to Nikki, the iconic incident of Chris asking David's then fiance Annie Suwan for a massage in exchange for providing the family with a place to stay occurred. However, it is also true that the producer forced them to say that. Number 6. Friends and family members are not paid to appear on the show. Friends and family of cast members are not paid for their appearance on the show. This seems a little surprising given that they are spending their time and efforts to becoming a key part of 90 Day Fiancé. After all, each season has a family friends episode. Their involvement is entirely optional. If you have friends or family members that agree to go on a reality program for free, believe me, they are wonderful. Number 5. Josh and Alexandra's Child May Not Be His Josh and Alexandra met while Josh was on a Mormon mission in Prague, and while Alexandra eventually converted, it wasn't exactly a seamless transition given her love for drinking, partying, and working as a nightclub dancer. Despite coming from two different worlds, the young couple appeared to be in love and had a child together. We understand the couple's hesitation to release photos of their infant, but we don't understand why, when the photos did emerge, the baby looked nothing like Josh. Number 4. Jay Smith's Infidelity Ashley Martin met Jay Smith in Jamaica while on vacation. However, Ashley found Jay had been talking to another woman on Tinder just days after returning home from their wedding in Las Vegas. Ashley became enraged and threatened Jay with divorce, but she eventually decided to stay with him. However, Jay cheated on her again. Ashley caught her again, and this time she decided to leave him for good. Number 3. Rumors about Rachel's Second Child's Paternity This story may not appear to be as serious, but if real, it's a whopper. Rachel Bear, a single mother, met John Walters via a karaoke app, and the former quickly found herself crossing the channel to meet him. However, rumors spread that the two had already met and that Lucy, Rachel's young daughter, was John's. The only evidence that the rumor mill has produced is that Rachel has never named the child's father and that Lucy resembles John. 
Number two, Georges and Anfisa may have met on an adult website. While Georges initially claimed that he met Anfisa on Facebook, recent reports suggest that the two met while Anfisa was working as a cam girl in Russia. While we don't criticize her for the method she chose to make a living, it's an odd place to meet your future husband. In the end, George was convicted of attempting to sell 293 pounds of marijuana and sentenced to two and a half years in prison shortly after getting married. Number 1. Contracts are kept private 90 Day Fiancé has never made an official contract publicly available. According to Eric Goldman, the contracts are frequently always in the efforts to convince their participants to surrender their rights to release claims. Furthermore, the cast members of 90 Day Fiancé are not well paid. In fact, according to In Touch Weekly, most participants get paid a minimal $1,000 per episode. And because foreigners are not legally entitled to work in the United States, they are paid nothing. So guys, that was it for this video. What did you think about our video? Let us know in the comment section below. If you are new to our channel, be sure to subscribe and ring that notification bell to get notified about our latest videos. Thanks for watching.